Good afternoon everyone, this is an unscheduled Facebook Live. Um, I'm going to have a go at painting this chocolate mould, uh, which is a guitar as you can see. I'm going to have a go at painting it like an acoustic guitar. Now I've not done this before, so I thought well, I'd just switch the cameras on and do it live, why not? Um, <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. I've got a picture up in front of me and I'm going to give this a go and see how we get on. Um, so this is a chocolate mould that's on our website. Um, and I have literally made a couple. I've got a backup one here in case it goes wrong. I'm going to have a go at trying to paint it like an acoustic guitar. So that's the plan. Now what I need to do, there we go, is actually get the picture up on my screen. So I'm going to do it with cocoa butter, which I've got here ready. I've got brown and black. I've got this royal gold colour, although I think that might be a little bit on the shiny side, but we'll kind of see how we go with that. And then all my paint brushes and my usual setup for all of this. Um, and we'll see what happens. So I've no idea if this is going to work, but we'll give it a go anyway. Um, okay, so we are going to start with, let's start with paintbrush one. I'm just going to take out the paint I've had in here earlier. So we'll go, hello everyone. <laughs> My comments are to my left hand side. I can't actually see them very well. So I will have a quick look every so often. So yeah, this is um, unscheduled. This is me, um, trying to work out if I can paint this guitar mould. So it could go well, it could be a disaster, I don't know, but let's give it a go and see what happens. So I'm gonna put it on a bit of kitchen roll actually because I'm gonna paint the side of it as well. So I'm gonna try and replicate an acoustic guitar. So I've got a white chocolate guitar base here. So let's see how we get on. Right, I've got a picture in front of me. So let's start with brown. So I've got a little bit of brown over there and we'll add a bit of white to it just so it's not too strong to start with, because there's different shades of it on here by the looks. Um, and let's see what happens. So I'm gonna need this for tomorrow for the shopping channel. So I thought I will get on my Facebook page. So tomorrow on Let's Shop Kate Live, I will be using this if it works. <laughs> I don't know if I say if it works. Um, and we'll go from there. Right, let's have a little look at this guitar. I've got a picture of it next to me, so I'm just going to kind of try and follow that and see what happens. So let's start down here and see how we get on. Um, I made this about an hour or so ago, so um, it's been in the fridge for 20 minutes and set, and then I bought it out and it's coming back up to room temperature. So um, you need to paint any chocolate moulds at room temperature, you can't do it. Um, otherwise, otherwise it's a pain. Oh, my PA is on there. Thank you, Mickey. <laughs> She's very good. <laughs> She's put a little link up for you for the chocolate mould. Thank you. Yeah, so let's go down and give this a go first. Get that set. I'm just not too, it's the strings I'm not sure about on this, so we'll see. We'll just make it up as we go along. See how we get on. I'm sure it'll be fine. If you get any little, um, there's a couple of little tiny holes in there, you can always just poke your paintbrush in there and cover them up, so I'm not going to worry too much about anything like that. And you see how quickly it's dried, look it's dried up there already, so it's drying very very quickly today, because it's cold today. And when it's cold, cocoa butter does dry really quickly. So this colour is just brown and it's got some white mixed into it, so it's just a white dusting colour with brown dusting colour. There we go. Let's tidy that up a little bit. Okay, so far so good. Now that appears to be black, that bit on this particular guitar I'm looking at, so we'll leave that for the moment. And then what we'll do, we're also going to have to paint around the edge. So let's see what we can do here. Now what I don't want to do is hold it because otherwise I will melt it. So I'll hold it with my hand. Get a bit of kitchen roll going. But these acoustic guitars seem to have a darker brown colour going around the outside edge. So we'll do that next. Might take that colour down there as well because we've got that. Actually that would be quite good, wouldn't it? That's part of that. It's like a jigsaw puzzle this, isn't it? So we could take that down there. And then that matches that bit there. There we go. Actually, if it comes out a bit streaky, it's going to look a little bit like um, you know, some of these guitars, like wood grainy type look, isn't it? Okay. 
Perfect timing. See, I, I knew that you were sitting down, Nikki, and you'd want to watch. Because <laughs> I haven't done this before. I thought, I'm going to just test this out and see what we can do. I'm sure we're going to be able to do something amazing with this. And see what we can come up with. Might be. Might go wrong, might not. Let's assume it won't. Put a bit more brown in there. Here. So what brush have I got here? I'm going to switch up a brush actually. Let's go to paintbrush two because that one's taking its... Um, sometimes when the brush is too thin um, it just creates more work. So let's let's go up a brush size. That's better. Much better. Right, now what I need to check is I don't go onto the front of the guitar, which I have a little bit, but that's okay. Because if you do anything like that, what you can do is take hold of the scriber and you can just scratch it off. So if you want to keep the colour back, um, just take a scriber. There you go, you see, and it's all, all removed. So I want to kind of keep that dark edge. So you need... Um, you need a scriber if you're painting chocolate because it's much easier. It's like a little, how are you going to reverse your mistakes? Well, not just mistakes, it's quite difficult to paint near the edge. So, nothing wrong with having your scriber to help you. You know, if you're trying to do fine detail and stuff. I've got to not hold it right. because it's chocolate I don't want to melt it so if you're doing any painting on chocolate ever you do need cocoa butter which is what I'm using at the moment see if I turn it back over there there's a tiny little bit there that's crept onto the front of the guitar but again you can just scratch that back there you go might have to go around it twice we'll see how we go Am I quiet on sound? Let me bring my camera nearer. Hold on, I'm on the different camera today, that's why. There you go, I'll put that right on top of me and you'll be able to hear me. There you go, that's better. <laughs> you can hear me now. It's because I've got two a different cameras set up this afternoon. Can you hear me better now? I didn't know I was going to be on either until I looked at this guitar I needed to paint and thought, I'm going to just do this live. And then we'll switch it on and see how we go. See what happens. So yes, this is unplanned. Let's take that back a little bit. There we go. There we go. And guitars are very popular on cakes. Music, anything music is really popular. So let's see what we can do. And if you could do something like this and it was nice and quick, you can do it in advance too, can't you? Is that better? You can hear me now. Um, yeah, so we can do this in advance. Um, you can do it. I mean, this is actually for tomorrow. But if you were more organised, you could do this a good week in advance. Easily. If not more. As long as you keep it away from smell and heat we should be fine all right we're coming around here now so that's kind of what we're getting at the moment that looks okay again we can always go around twice if we need to you can hear me now oh good that's because my other camera sound was over on the other side so shopping channel tomorrow let's shop kate live i'll be on at 10 o'clock and we're going to be looking at the new floral beginners course and i've got some of my new coffee cups decorations as well i've got some more new ones as well i've got some ones for people who don't want to paint as well so lots of nice quick and easy things to do there as well and we're going to do a music cake so there's three, three or four things happening tomorrow morning. So that's 10 o'clock on Let's Shop Cake Live, which is my cake shopping channel. So it's on Facebook. If you put into Facebook Let's Shop Cake Live, it will come up. 
go and ask to join the group and then tune in on Saturday morning. I have lots of offers and lots of chat and all sorts of things going on. And we do it every week on a Saturday. Didn't do it last week though because it was Easter, so we're back again. So we're back for two, I think, and then we've got to change the time slightly because I've got a wedding to do. I know, unbelievable. I've actually got a wedding cake to go out, so I've got to sort that out. So I will be around. Okay. How are we doing with that? There we go, so far okay. So anything I don't want, I'll just scratch off here. Hold on, my picture of the guitar has gone. Yep, Kelly's in tomorrow. She's at work at the minute, so yeah, Kelly's in tomorrow. <laughs> Yeah, she'll be back. Okay. I think she quite likes these lives and she gets carried away, as you all know. Okay. Right, let's leave that bit to dry for the minute. Let's have a look at my acoustic guitar again. Um, so I've got a picture I'm trying to follow here. Okay, so it looks like... Oh no, what am I doing? Hold on, let's just darken that down a bit. So we'll use the brown again. We're going to need to do this bit at the bottom. Okay, so what we'll do is either side of that bit, like so. I was actually going to leave the main body of the guitar that colour. Uh, I might change it. We'll see how we go. See what we think. I've got royal gold in, but it's a luster colour, which means it will be a sort of a little bit of a shiny guitar quite right but the colour's quite good. We can always test the colour out on the back of it can't we if we need to see what it's going to do. So I wasn't planning to paint the back of it. <laughs> well Maureen I meant to tell you about the um, I got your email about um, instalments so I'm going to go through all of that tomorrow morning so um, for the beginners floral class so the answer to that is oh yes but I will go through it tomorrow um, for the floral class people beginners floral class so we've got an instalment plan there as well in place so we can get you started right okay that looks better now what's the middle colour the middle colour seems to be black Try not to put too much black on it. That's what I want. just want to check what I'm doing. Okay, right. Now we're going to go. It seems to have got black there. So let's do that. So we'll stick with brush two at the moment. And we'll put some black on it. See how we go. Yeah, I've got, um, I'm just following a guitar that I've just seen online, really, to be honest. I don't, um, I'm just kind of making it up, really. As long as it looks roughly like an acoustic guitar, that would be fine. So, but I couldn't work out if it was black or brown. I think it's definitely black. I think. I don't know. It's a job to tell. Anyway, we'll do the bit in the middle black. So let's do that because that's obviously going to be a bit darker anyway. Got a bit of extra paint on there. Lindsay, I've seen your order. I think all the orders have been dispatched. So if anybody's waiting for anything, it's all gone today. It's all gone this afternoon. So there's no outstanding orders at all at the moment. Every single thing we've sent um, today. And the one thing that I have sent that's... Um, so that the, it's been lots and lots of the cookie cutters have gone out today. The cup ones, there's been loads of those going out today. Um so that'll be good but I've got some more ideas because you know what I'm like for tomorrow with this cookie cutter some really cool ones actually if I'm going wow it's wow isn't it <laughs> well I put them together this afternoon and went wow brilliant I don't know I just thought they were a bit of fun I just think it's quite a nice thing to do You're just meeting up with people again take a little biscuit with her Looks like a cup of tea. That's all I want to do really, see people and have a cup of tea. Right, okay, we'll leave that to dry for the minute. It's 
coming on okay, isn't it? Yeah, we're super on it today for some reason. I don't know why. It won't last. <laughs> There we go. You can see I've had to do a couple of layers to get it as dark as that. It's nearly dry. There we go. All right. Well, again, we can always go back and just increase it a little bit. Right. Let's move that down a bit. And what we'll do. Yeah, we'll do this bit at the top. I have to try and work this bit out, haven't I? OK, well, we can always do white over the top of that if we need to. And there's a little line up there. There we go. Let's turn that round. <laughs> I'm reading your comments that's all right you can leave everything there if you place more than one order between now and Monday anyway I'll always put your postage I'll sort your postage out for you because we won't dispatch on Saturday now we won't dispatch now again until Monday we're done we've taken everything to the post office now oh, I'm just having an ahhing about this bit I think what we'll do I think we'll paint this bit it's got some like indent bits there, but actually sometimes rather than sort of fiddle around trying to go over it, it's easier just to it's easier just to put the black down and then put the white over the top. So let's do that. I think that's going to be a better option. We'll paint up there. That's looking okay so far, isn't it? Paint down there. So you can make three guitars on this mould if you want to. I'll measure it for you as well so you know how big it is. I'm trying not to hold it, but I realise I am again. Okay. And we've left that bit there. Yeah, we'll leave that bit there at the top like so and just scratch that back a little bit there okay right <laughs> oh <laughs> just go back and read in your comments <laughs> yeah I've left my Hugh Grant at home he's not here at the moment right let's have a look at this bit here now this bit seems to be and I would say it's more of a combination of black and brown so let's take some and mix that it doesn't look as black as that bit so let's put black and brown together why not and let's paint this bit here I think let's see what this color does I don't know if it's going to come out dark enough we'll give it a go and see what it does initially it won't anyway and then we'll go around here okay that looks okay you went off the side there down here and around because it's sort of 3d that bit so you can feel your brush sort of falling off it as you're going around that's why I went whoops when it went off the edge there we go let's run that round there what brush am I using I'm still using paintbrush 2 at the moment Oh, I, do you know what? I think this guitar would be too big for Action Man or Barbie. It's quite big. I'll find my ruler in a minute. Hold on. Let me grab my tape measure. It's actually quite big. Six inches this is, which is what? How many centimetres? 15 centimetres. It's quite big. I don't think the Action Man dolls, they look like he's playing the cello, I think, rather than a, a guitar. So I think that's that's your answer. It's not a guitar for an action man, it's a full blown cello. 
yeah it's quite big it's actually quite a real it's a good cake topper size well that's what i hope anyway that's what i'm planning to do with it tomorrow oh, my picture's just gone off on my computer <laughs> I don't know the answer to that question, Nikki. I know. I don't know. I've got um, nephews that uh, that sort of age, but I don't know whether they would know. I'd have to ask them. I've not seen them for a while. Let me see what they say. It's more Lego with them, I think. But a music theme is popular. As I've done so many music cakes over the years. If there's any little, especially when someone says, oh, they play the guitar or the drum kit and I can just feel my heart dropping. I think, oh no, it's going to take forever, absolutely forever. But if you've got a mould like this, it might speed things up a little bit. And it's accurate then. Yeah, so if you're thinking of doing a character holding this guitar, it's going to have to be huge. Um... What size eggs am I using for the bunny? Uh, oh, yeah. Um, I think it's measured. If you watch the video at the start, I think I measure it as, I, as the video starts. Because I'd love to say I know what it is, but I've actually put it away now, the mould, and it's not with me. And also, um, there's something else about it as well. What was the other thing about it? Um, mine's a polycarbonate mould, which basically means it's posh. Um, it's not a plastic mould, so they are really quite expensive. Um, they probably wouldn't be worth getting if you were um, doing just do them now and again, which is why I only do them now and again, which is ridiculous, really. But I've had this mould a very long time. Um, but if you go to the video on the Bunny Facebook page, I think it's one of the first things I do um, is measure it. So hopefully that will help you anyway. Right, we've done that bit. Right, let's have a look now. What do we need to do? So we need to do the... Well, we've got an inner line. Oh, no, it's all I need. Okay, that's fine. Um, <laughs> okay, we can do this. Come on. We can do this. Let's have a look. Okay, right. So let's switch paintbrushes. Let's go to zero. Now, there is a fun line going all around the inner edge of this guitar, which I've just spotted, but it'll be fine. There you go, four and a half inches. It could be something like that. Where's my tape measure? Let me check. Yeah, that looks about right. I'd say that sounds about right. Okay, um, let's do brown. And we're going to do this with the zero brush. I probably won't speak because I will be trying to get around this guitar. Okay, so according to my picture there is a line that goes just on the inside edge here so we will do this and we're just going to follow it round like so occasionally breathing in and out okay now we can use our scriber if we go wrong here we can scratch it back Okay, that works okay, we've got that far. And now we'll come back round again. It seems to be easier to do to just pull the brush rather than keep going backwards and forwards. So let's do that. So I'm not very far away from the edge, I'm literally just on the edge of it. You're all holding your breath, are you? So am I, Amina. Let me go down here. Around the corner there and there. Okay. Okay, we're, we're okay, we're okay. Actually, that brush has got... If your brushes get, you know, they're not suddenly pointed, put them on back into the paint and just twist it until it's better, back again. Oh, there's no coke flutter on it now, that's why more brown not breathing yeah don't breathe for this bit please so hopefully when you're not doing you're doing this you're not doing it live like me <laughs> i do think what am i doing that's 
seems to be working. There's a thinner brush as well if you wanted a thinner line. I'm just going to go back and just scratch that back a tiny bit. Yeah, so if you want a thinner line, there's a zero zero brush. Although paint brushes are being a pain to get in at the moment, they still are. They're still in Ireland. Hopefully they'll arrive at some point. And every time I ring up, I think the man thinks I'm stalking him now because I keep ringing him up every five minutes. Right. Okay. So anybody who's got paint brushes, just look after them for the moment. I'm going the wrong way. Hold on. Let's turn that round. I want to get this so it's coming towards me. Oh, I'm off again. There we go. See, when you do that, you get a slightly thicker line. So you're better off just trying to the brush rather than sort of dragging it like that and also try and keep your brush upright um, so your paintbrush is facing the ceiling then you get nice thin or well, you get thinner lines anyway because it's quite thin it, the paint keeps drying out Yay, made it. Okay, now we can breathe. That's all right. <laughs> right, okay. Just going to join that bit there. You can go back and make it a bit, the line a bit thicker if you want to, but actually my computer's gone off. Hold on, there's my picture I'm trying to copy. There it is. Um, the line is actually quite thin. So I don't think we need to make it any thicker than that. I think that's fine. Now there's more lines. Oh, good. Right. This one's a little bit thicker and it's going round this bit in the middle. OK, so we'll do that next. So I'm just going to go around the outside edge of this in the brown still. And there we go. So I'm still using a zero brush. I'm just pressing down a little bit further. But there is a gap between this and, can you see there is a gap between that white? Let's move that out of the way. And bring that down there, hold on. Every time I stop, the paint's drying out. because it's actually kind of going up a little bit, so I need to move it round so I can get my paintbrush inside there. Okay, that's all right. That's okay. All right, okay, what's next? Let's have a look at my picture. I think we're actually going to have to paint this bit brown as well. We'll have to put some white over the top of that. So we're going to go up there. Can you see it's a little bit raised on that bit there? Sort of a little bit higher. That's okay. So it should help you a little bit painting by numbers, really. Right. Oh, my computer screen has gone off again. Okay. Now, actually, in fairness, it's actually got another line, would you credit it, going around this middle bit. Let's see if we can take it out a tiny bit further and actually goes a little bit higher. Got too many lines, this guitar. Let's take that off bit. OK, 
completely love it because I don't like it. There you go, you see you can remove it with the scriber. As long as you don't sort of dig at it too much, the damage is minimal. I'm guessing that line then must join up with that up there so we don't really need to follow that through because it's going to be part of that we will probably need to just do it that side maybe okay right There we go, nice bit of colour consistency there. I'm going to actually just take that back a bit further down here. That makes a bit more sense then. I think that's the idea anyway. Okay, right. Well, let's leave that bit to dry for a second. How are we doing on camera? It looks all right, doesn't it? Let's just, we'll do the frets up there now, shall we? So we'll change brushes again. So we're on, what are we on at the minute? Zero. Oh, no, we'll keep zero, but we'll just go for the white paint. brush let's do it on a piece of kitchen roll rather than the actual bit that's there let's get rid of all the white oh, sorry all the dark color and then we'll switch to the white so I've got white mixed up already so now this is dry we should be able to paint straight over this which we can fantastic so this has got these going all the way up here there's they're already raised so I'm going to put the ones on there I hold my wrist doing this, I think. Like so, and if you make a mistake, you can always go back with the brown and just paint over it and do it again. So I don't think it's too dire. Like that one there. Now you see, the thing is, if I scrape this, I'm going to actually end up taking the brown off as well. So once you've started over painting, then you have got a bit more problem if you want to remove your colour because you're going to take off two colours. I'm not going to take this round the side. I'm only just going to do this on the top bit because I don't see any reason to go around the side. Okay. And then this bit up here seems to be white. We'll paint that. Is it white? Yeah, it is. Yeah, and then it's probably silver rather than white. And then we've got, um, okay, so what we'll do is we will do little dots here, I think. Yeah, and in there, I've got three on either side, so I'm going to put another one there, and then the same on this side, there we go. we doing yeah that's okay right let's turn that down like so and then I'm going to put some on here so these ones are here how many have we got one two three four five two three four five 
need and then we've got a line there so that's like so not entirely sure how we're going to do these strings but we'll cross that bridge in a minute and then on the side here we're going to just turn that around and we just this actually sort of sticks out a little bit so it's sort of obvious where it is I guess these are like the tuning things on the side aren't they you can tell my technical guitar knowledge <laughs> I have no idea oh dear and then do we need them on both sides mm, we do we only mark them on one okay we'll put them on anyway we'll pretend they're there we'll just add them in there we go okay now at this point if I wanted to go over anything I would go back and do it now but it's not too bad actually in terms of coverage it's pretty good I might just go back over that bit again and then we'll start putting the strings in oh here we go top tip coming up I've used tooth floss dipped and put it on to mark it okay yeah I think royal icing is probably the answer really but I'm going to paint it anyway. The thing is, what's going to happen is it's going to come down and it's going to go into this hole and back up again. That's the problem. So ideally, in the real world, it probably needs something else. But we'll just do it anyway. It doesn't matter. We'll just give it a go and see what it does. But yeah, there is a big hole in here. So as we go down, it's going to come. I just don't quite know what it's going to do. But we'll go with it and see what it does. Okay. Well, it looks like a guitar at this point, doesn't it? No, I'm not using that zero zero tip. <laughs> you could pipe them. To be honest, it probably would be easier. Let's have a look down there. Do I get my piping tubes out? They all want me to get my piping tubes out. Have I got any? Um, I don't know if I've got any zeros around. I've only got number one at the moment. Yeah, white edible pens. Another idea. Let's. Let's try and paint it. Let's see what happens. Worst case scenario, we can always pipe it. I'm not too worried. It's only a bit of fun anyway. All right, so if we were starting here, then we're going to come down, aren't we? So we've got... How many strings have I actually got to worry about? I never even counted. Is it six or is it five? It might be as many as I can fit in, to be perfectly honest. Um just looking at my picture it's a job to tell actually pad the hole with some kitchen roll <laughs> there's all sorts of suggestions going on here you could yeah you could pad it and then well, I think it'd be quite tricky to do but we'll just it doesn't matter I'm not really too worried about it we'll just give it a go just give it the impression that we know what's happening here. I'd like to paint it all if I can, but we'll see. We'll see. Let's see what happens. So we're going down. It looks okay so far. It's only when we get to this point we'll all start holding our breath here because we don't know what's going to happen. Right, okay, so in theory, we are going to have to go down, like so. My picture's just gone off my screen, that's not helpful. I'm just wondering if it will make it look like the TV in the evening. It might not be as bad as we think. As long as we keep it straight, and then we'll come in, come in here. This is when you need the string to be on the silver side so we can see it a bit better. On the white chocolate, that's okay. It's not too bad. <laughs> Yeah, you could prop it up, but you'd have to leave it to dry then, wouldn't you? Let's have another go. That 
actually okay. I'm not too worried about that one in the middle. Yeah, you could leave your royal icing to dry that way. I might do that after this, because I can do it after this anyway. Because I could just repaint that if it doesn't work, can't I? Let's put some more black down and then wipe over it. Yeah, it's really not too bad, actually. It's okay. It's okay. The weird thing is when you go down into this bit here is you feel your paintbrush going in a funny direction. That's just a bit sort of odd. Let's keep it as a straight line. It's not completely correct, but it doesn't matter. Actually, these need to go a bit further, don't they? They need to go up to these. All right, more white. Yeah, just looking at it on camera, see what it's looking like. back up turn it go across that way I think it's meant to be six isn't there by the look six string yeah not sure I'm gonna get six in but we'll give it a go might only be five <laughs> spacing on here it's going to be a five. Ah, that's okay. Let's just hope whoever receives this guitar cake from whatever mould will, won't worry too much about it. <laughs> yeah, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I'm all right for this I think. And even this bit's not too bad when you get going. That's the only bit I don't like, and I meant as in painting it, it's a bit off-putting. I don't actually dislike the way it looks. I'm actually okay with this. So I've got now four. So I think one more is the only amount I'm going to be able to fit in. So I've kind of got to the edge now. So it's going to have to be a five string. So whether that's correct, I don't know. But we're going to say that it is for this particular project. It probably isn't. Up here, this is a special guitar. <laughs> it's got magical powers. It's got in individual. That's uh, so got invisible sixth string. <laughs> right. Okay. Cool. Let's go back to my main picture in a minute and see what I've missed. Oh, now 
that's definitely going at a weird angle here. Have I made it? Have I made it? Yes, I have. Hey, I made it. So you could make the strings a bit, if you want to make them a bit brighter on the guitar, you could make them add a bit of black to them, couldn't you? And make them grey or silver. The ones that I did on the guitar before, this bit here, I'm just going over them now to make them stand out a bit more, which they're now doing because they've dried. See, that stands out better, doesn't it? There's dots on this thing, guitar, isn't there? Let me have a look. Hold on. Yeah, okay, so we've got dots on here. Let's do those. Okay. Uh, so that little little dot there. And one of them on there. So apologies to anyone who's actually sort of plays the guitar now and has realised there's a, probably a string missing. But um, there's cake world and... Actually, it's looking all right, I think. And one more. Okay. Oh, good. That's fine. I'm off the hook then. <laughs> okay. All right, just looking at this again. Just looking at my picture. Okay, we're going to get really picky with this. Let's get rid of that in the bottom of the little marks down here there is a little tiny spot so I'll put that in as well and why not if we're going to go detail let's do it Yeah, because the more detail we're adding, the better it's getting, I think. Let's turn that round. See, that's made quite a lot of difference, I think. Sorry, my picture's just gone off my screen again. And again, up here as well, if we go into the centre of these white dots there. With your zero brush. So if you fancied over painting these, because obviously painting them just once wouldn't be enough, would it? <laughs> you could go over these with silver. But I, I don't know as I'm that keen to go over them again. I think I may live with it as it is. But I do want to make that bit there a bit darker. Now if I do that, it's going to overpaint that, isn't it? No, I'm not going to do that. That's fine. Okay, so that darker circle in the middle is that any darker it looks a bit darker i think it's fine i think otherwise i'm getting too carried away look at that how about that so we have gone i'm quite pleased with that we have gone from let me get the other one out of the mold hold on this one's stuck turn it that way. there we go right so we've gone from that to that that's pretty good there you go, look at that, little bit of painting and you've suddenly created a guitar and you haven't had to do any sugar work at all. Whoever you give this to, you can literally just eat it. That sounds like a good news to me. So this is the guitar mould. This is what you can do when you paint it. And all I've used is brown, black and white. I haven't used anything else. Paint brushes, I've used zero and number one and two on the outside edge, the bit that was going around the outside edge there. It's not gone completely flat around the outside edge, but actually if you look at a guitar, it's not totally flat anyway. But if I wanted to, and I wanted to tip it on back on its side, I'll just do a little bit now because we can. So I'll just get that brown. You can increase the colour. So if you wanted this to be a much sort of darker, more solid colour, you could go back over it and just paint it up that way. Just so you've got 
something better like that if you want to anyway there you go it does it looks real doesn't it quite pleased with that considering i was um i've never done it before and i wasn't too sure what it was going to do so there we go right so that's my little guitar painting moment this afternoon so i hope you enjoyed that i'm going to be using this on my shopping channel tomorrow let's shop kate live which will be on at 10 o'clock in the morning on let's shop kate live facebook page so i will see some of you in the morning at 10 and um, we will go from there we're going to make a cake in the music theme so that sounds like fun doesn't it okay so thank you very much everybody for tuning in and i will see you in the morning bye <laughs>